Hey guys, Phil here, um, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Starbound server. So first thing you want to do, uh, this is how to do it on Windows. Um, on Mac it's a little different, and I don't know where to help you there. But uh, if you're playing on Windows, this is how you do it. Uh, Linux too, I don't have any help for you there, but if, you know, if you're using Linux, hopefully you know how to you know, find your network information and forward your ports. So on Windows, first of all, you want to make sure you got a static IP address. So go to Network and Internet. Um, go to Network and Sharing Center. This is all in Control Panel. Uh, go to Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on the adapter you're connected to. So my, my Wi-Fi is called uh, FBI underscore Surveillance because, uh, well, my dad thinks he's clever, and I stole the idea from him from my place. Um, so you're going to double-click on that and then click Details. You can get some information here. Um, this is all local information, so I'm not too worried about a heart jump for taking a look through my video to you guys this information. But uh, I recommend you just take out your snipping tool, Windows 7 snipping tool right here, and take a quick snip. Take a quick snip of this window. Right? So save that. I already got that saved. Um, and then once you're done with that, uh, close that window, leave this, this area open, and click properties. Oh. <sighs> Now you're going to double click on Internet Protocol version 4. Double click on that and uh, use the following IP address. It, it'll be set to obtain automatically. So you're going to click this bullet point here, use the following IP address. So your IP address is going to be the same as um, the one that you were looking at right here, IPv4 address. Um, but you're going to make those last two numbers something pretty different from uh, what it was before. So so copy everything that was first, all, all the first three zones, and then change the last one to something just totally outlandish and far away, because you don't want some other you know, device claiming that uh, you know, IP address. Uh, I don't know if you can actually do that, but I just did it. Uh, I was, mine was set to three. I made it 30, just to be safe. Set your subnet, subnet mask to the same, default gateway to the same, um, and then also uh, do the same DNS server addresses as before. Hit OK. It'll give you this little warning, and if it doesn't get you that warning, just do it again, because mine, for whatever reason, just didn't save the first time I did it. Hit yes. It's fine. It's OK. Um, and once you're done with that, uh, you're just going to hit OK, and you're going to close out of here. Now you got to forward your ports, alright? So, um, you're gonna, the port to forward is 21025, that'll be in the description, but you'll also see it here, um, and over in your port forwarding section of your router settings, which is, um, if you're looking at that, the, right here, in these properties, or in the details, it's going to be your IPv4 default gateway. So just throw your default gateway in a web browser, and it'll take you to your uh, your router's page. And what you can do with that is uh, throw uh, do some port forwarding. So you're going to do this port forwarding here. Um, add a service. This is how you do it on an Xfinity one. If you have a different one, it's going to be different. But uh, the, the fields that you put in are going to be the same. So you're going to click Add a Service, um, set it to Other, type in the name of your service. So in this case, we're doing Starbound. And uh, TCP and UDP worked for me. So the server IP address is going to be um, your the IPv4 address that you put in um, you, you know that you changed manually the whole thing. So in this case, I did 30, and then your starting port is 21025. That's right, 21025. So you're gonna just gonna make the starting and ending port 21505. 21025. I'm bad at reading. Once that's done, uh, just click Add. I've already done it. I'm not gonna make it again. Um, and the way you check this is first of all, you gotta start up your Starbound server. So start up Starbound here and say launch Starbound server. And it'll launch this little command prompt here. It'll do a lot of stuff. Um, but when you see in that command prompt 
scanning for router port forwarding, done scanning for router for port forwarding. Um, it'll say a few more things. Um, and go ahead and see if you can join it on your own by launching Starbound, clicking multiplayer, uh, picking your character, and then typing in the IP address that you altered, the one you made, the same one that uh, you used. You know, you know the one. You know the one. The one that I had at three and made it thirty. Okay. Uh, and if you can connect to your server, then it's time to check. And, and do one last check to make sure your ports are forwarded. So go to a website called yougetsignal.com, click port forwarding tester, I'll put the link in the description. Um, use the current IP that's there and set the port to 21025, the one that you want to check. And when you check it, it hopefully will say it's open. If not, I don't know how to help you. But that's what I did, and it worked for me, and I hope it works for you. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment if it didn't work for you, and maybe some other commenters will help you out. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope this works for you. Hopefully you're not too out of luck on a Mac, and you can kind of figure out the general way to do things, how to make a static IP address and uh, things like that. Uh, but if not, do check with people in the comments. Maybe another video will be up by then, but I haven't been able to find a good comprehensive video how to make a Starbound server besides the one I'm making right now. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, if you're interested in more stuff about Starbound or more just Let's Plays and uh, fun stuff. I do a few different video series. Uh, I do a few different things. There's game reviews on Wednesdays. There's uh, just gameplay videos on Tuesdays and a series called Late to the Party on Thursdays that I think you'll enjoy. And on Fridays I'm starting this new series uh, about how to make let's plays if you're interested in making them yourself uh, with using totally free software so uh, yeah be sure to subscribe thanks for watching once again I'll see you next time